What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have been so busy around here that I just realized it's been a little over a week. We've got nothing to post on YouTube for you guys to watch. So I've been trying to stick to that one video a week and uh, yeah, I gotta whip something out today for you guys and get it up by tonight. So today I decided we're just gonna have some fun, get a couple cars out of our C2 compound behind me and beat the crap out of them and see which one's faster not gonna be this one even though you guys just watched us paint this thing this thing's all totally wet sand and buffed and uh we'll show you some details here at the end of the video um this car yeah it doesn't run it looks like it's complete but like everything else we've got it needs work um we've actually been working on this thing for about the last two years uh this car is something you guys have not seen but uh yeah i'll uh i'll bring you guys up to date on this at the end of the video and just like this car this car doesn't run currently um this thing keeps knocking starters out of it. i actually just laid under it and the starter's loose so hopefully i can tighten that starter up and we can actually keep a starter in this thing that's its third starter since we've got this car for some reason it just does not want to keep starters in it but what we're going to do is we're going to i wanted to actually race them but it's more controlled to uh, have ryan just sit in there with the draggy and we'll compare uh I guess you could say compare time slips between this 66 coupe and this 67 427 coupe. Um, this car you guys have seen us work on. Actually, if you want to dig into our videos, dug this thing out of a barn, well, a garage, and uh, put it back together. This car is something you guys have never seen. I'll explain a little bit about the 66, and then uh, we'll take this thing for a spin. Then I'll introduce you guys to the 67. It is a 327, 350 horse. Um, this car's cheating because it's got headers and that car doesn't. But uh, other than that, this thing is pretty much stock. Um, to what we know, the motor's never been rebuilt. This is a CE block, so this engine was replaced by GM. All right, so I shut this car off because I just remembered. Last time we did this draggy test, kind of had to explain to everybody in the comments what we were doing, so. This right here is a uh, draggy. It's a GPS module. It goes up here on the dash and uh, satellites talk to it and do wizard's work, whatever the heck it does. And uh, pretty much transfers everything to your phone, the app that Ryan's actually got up. And then um, it'll give you quarter mile times. It'll give you zero to 60 times. Um, I think you can even set it up to do like lap time. But I don't know, we just use it for having fun. A lot of guys like no prep racers and stuff like that use these things for data. They're within like hundreds of a second from your drag strip timer and everything like that. So these things are very accurate. All right, what are your guesses on this thing? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I want to say like 14.5. What do you think? I was going to guess a 1420. Confirmation. This is a confirmation test. It is slowing the miles though. 
Either that or just super fat. Car show. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, in the beginning of this video, I didn't take into consideration that these things might not be running up to performance standards, but uh, it runs good, it drives good. Doesn't float the valves, 100%. It's either floating the valves or the carb's way off. It's got a brand new carburetor on it, so I doubt that's it. Um, she just didn't want to pull over five grand, which is normal on an engine that's not been rebuilt since uh, mid 60s. So this thing will probably be the same. If you guys watch us make a uh, draggy passes in the 65 coupe that we put the tunnel ram on, it was doing the exact same thing. I mean, these motors are just, wore out and uh, yeah, they don't want to rev much past about five grand after they sit for that long. But we're gonna go ahead, throw the GoPro off of this onto this thing and take this old girl out. Now, let me explain this car. This is a 427, 400 horsepower. So this is not the super desirable um, 435 horse. This thing's still desirable because I mean, it's a 427 Corvette, um, but it's not the super desirable 435 horse. Um, you see right there. But uh, this car came out of New York. Um, this is a original 400 horse engine, but this car too has a counter exchange block, just like that one. Um, this thing is pretty much all original besides that. Um, has had one repaint, but this is the original color. Uh, original interior, never been redone. Um, and that is uh, the original miles on the car at uh, 24,000. Um, this thing's actually a super, super nice car. Um, it's got the side pipes that everybody loves and I hate, only because they're super internally baffled and chambered and side pipes are just turds for race cars. Drop the hood down on this thing. Oh, we don't have a... Uh, we use the hood insert to test fit actually on that hood. So no hood insert, but we do have it. So strap the GoPro on this thing and take it for a spin. All right, guys, other than this thing smelling like dead mouse very bad, it actually drives really good. I think this car actually drives better than the 66. Um, doesn't pull, isn't blubbery. I think we gotta check the carburetor on this. This thing fired right up. Yeah, it's not right. This thing runs good. Radio even works, I turn it on, but you know how YouTube is. Stupid. This thing is like 10 times the car that one is. And I thought that was 
miles now. This thing runs good. I shifted it early the first time. It'll go faster. 105. 1347 at 105. What did uh what the blue car trap? I did I could never see. I'll go back and try to go back and look. I don't think she needs another run. I want to do another run. <laughs> Let's do it. This thing going this shifter is slappier than that car though. That that had a hearst in it though. This is a stock shifter. Hey look, our black marks are like invisible compared to those. Yep. Ready? Yep. Car knows how to put down some marks. A lot better than the last burnout that car did. Almost went off into the ditch. <laughs> friendly tires on this thing what the <laughs> heck was that they weren't even smoking no, it, it's almost <laughs> like it was just laying down just some black marks and that was a good year assurance i can assure you something they don't smoke very good mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no all right guys so we learned what we already knew i honestly thought this was going to be faster i think if this thing would rev out to 6 6500 it would run with that car only because this has headers on it um and this has full two and a half inch exhaust to where that's got uh, exhaust manifolds and the side pipes both of those should slow that down and help this thing out but uh yeah this thing surprised me how slow she was i was not uh i have to give her a little tune up yeah she's a tune up they all need tune ups actually that thing runs pretty good, I think that's pretty good. actually this whole test goes to show how well the 65 ran when it went 1350 with the 396 that we ruined when we put the tunnel ram on it. Now it runs like crap. Yeah, well, we're good at ruining stuff. Yeah, this is something that we are very good at is ruining stuff. But, uh, all right, so let me go inside first. All right, let me tell you a little bit about this Corvette. 
Um, this thing is a, I don't even know what year it is. I think it's a 65, could be a 66. We've used so many different cars to put this thing together and then it's got so many different um, things from other Corvettes to make the car look like it does. We've actually named this thing Johnny Cash because of Johnny Cash's song, One Piece of a Time. I know almost everybody has heard that song. Um, that is pretty much what this thing is. So so the car started, like I said, either a 66 or 65 body um, that showed up with the quarters cut on it, fenders cut on it, um, nasty frame. Yeah, it was just a, it was just a piece of junk, so. We ended up cutting the quarters off, cutting the floor out, doing a new front end. Um, we put the split window in it. Underneath is a Kaufman chassis that's got C6 Corvette suspension. Um, like I said, it's got 63 back window. It's got C5 Corvette door handles. It's got C6 Corvette um, louvers and the fenders and the quarters. Um, it's got a LT4 out of a 2016 plus Corvette. So that kind of gives you the idea on why we called it Johnny Cash. So we did a bunch of work to this thing and kind of got put on hold because we ordered a front drive system for the engine. That ended up not fitting. So I've got to order another one. And then I wanted to do a cam and a bunch of other stuff to it. And I wanted to run the thing on Holly EFI. But at the time they had just released Holly for the newer LT engines and LT4 stuff was not supported by it yet. Now it's still not supported by it, but there are ways to run your LT4 through Holly now. And uh, they don't tell you exactly how to do it at Holly, but there's ways to get it done. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing running on Holly, um, probably pulley it, put a cam in it, headers on it, and uh, try to make decent power with it and just have some fun. All right, so the 435 horse car. Um, you guys have seen this a little bit in the background of all of our videos this winter. Um, the front end, we redid the front end on it. The last video we just posted, my grandpa and I painted the car, or he painted it. I held the flashlight so he could see what he was doing. Um, just got done wet sanding and buffing this thing, and it looks absolutely beautiful. The color on this thing pops so much. I'm more of a blue guy. I like, I mean, you can tell I'm a blue dually. Blue Corvette. Um, I love blue. Blue's my favorite color, but this thing sitting next to a blue car looks a million times better. I don't know what it is about this red, but I just absolutely love this Marlboro Maroon that's on this thing. It's got like a gold and um, I don't know. It's crazy. It's It looks awesome with the white and the white interior. Um, some red lines on this thing. It is going to pop. It is definitely going to look good. Um, there's actually just an article on this car saying that it was going to be my dad's next fast car. And I don't think it's going to be a fast car. It's not going to, I know for sure it's not getting a roll bar and it's not going to be a top of the class, you know, mid to low nine running car. I just know that for a fact because it is a real 435 horse car and we're not going to cut the floor up and weld to the chassis and everything like that. Like we need to, to put a roll bar in it. Um, so don't really know what's going on with this thing um could just get a motor and it to cruise around i don't know plenty of options i don't know if there's going to be any more videos of this thing because uh, we kind of talked about waiting until winter time to finish this thing up because i'll show you what um my dad's been working on he's been wet sanding and buffing for like three weeks straight almost so. all right so back here we turned our dyno room pretty much into a uh, wet sand and buff room. And this is the 66 427 car that you guys have seen us race. Ryan drove it at a few races. This car was the one that we, you know, first did the draggy and the tune up and, you know, hopped it up, put different gears in it and made a huge difference in how the thing ran. But this car just got repainted. Um, original Nassau blues, what the car was from the factory. And this is a beautiful paint job as well. Um, Ed, who races with us uh, in the fast class, actually painted this car, and this thing just looks amazing. This thing didn't really need a paint job. The paint job was, mm, I don't know, I would say six out of 10. But uh, 
One day my dad was soldering. We put an MSD box in this thing and um, MSD distributor and a couple other things. And my dad was soldering and the soldering iron actually fell off of his soldering stand and landed right on the fender right here and sat there for a little bit. So it needed a little bit of work. We tried to fix it and just paint the fender and the color just did not match. Um, we painted it two times and we were just super unhappy with it. So I got a friend that gets me killer deals on paint. So we just got whole new paint for this thing. And actually it turned out good. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. So thank you guys for watching. We hope it was a pretty cool video for you. We just kind of last minute decided to yank a couple cars out of the garage and beat the heck out of them. We do it a little more, but uh, not a lot of things in that garage run, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to get things running, which is actually what we've kind of been working on, is slowly getting stuff running into driving condition. And uh, then we actually do more of that and have a lot more fun. And then maybe we can pick a day like on the weekend that's not a busy afternoon and actually race the cars and have a little bit more fun with it. But, yeah, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad and the good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts I pop off when I hear.